Introducing the horses, race number two, fillies and mares, four-year-olds and under, racing one mile. A purse of $1,900, a full feel of 10. Number one is Heatwave. Top of the Morris Brothers and Dave McCaffrey of Illinois. Randy Owens training, Dave Miller driving. The uh, two Tucson princes, Sober Richard Stevens and Sal Nasir of Columbus. Roy Murphy trains with Mike Wilder. Three Tutin Scootin, owned and trained by Howard Wallace of Lebanon. Four Hugh Beatty Jr. Four Lucy and Ethel, owned by David Franklin of Lexington. Tommy Smith trains Eric Lentford drives. Five Hills Peppy Scooter, owned by Jack Franklin of Xenia and Val Bohm of uh, Columbus. Jack Franklin, the trainer driver. Six Primrose B, owned by Leonard Bailey of Pickwell, Ohio. R.J. Brown trains John Collins. Uh. Seven Colleen's Candy Cam, owned by Robert and Sandra Johnson of Pompano Beach, Florida. Doug Loud training with Randy Tharps. The eight Western Bridal, owned by Gene and Mrs. Gene Regal of Greenville. Allen Regal trains for Donnervine Jr. The nine Pompadou Hanover, owned by Richard Elwood of Lancaster, Ohio. Rick Hartman trains with Brad Hanners. And the Chan Jory is laced by Ruth Myers of Xenia, Sherry Myers, the trainer, Chip Noble in the Sonki. One play show perfected trifecta wagering eight minutes until post. Second race, pacing fillies and mares, lining up, moving in. On the back stretch, there they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Lucy and Ethel as they fire first for the lead from the inside Tucson Princess, far outside Western Bridal. Ducking in quickly in fourth, Tootin Scootin on the inside, racing F5 as they round that first turn, it's Heatwave. On the inside, racing a sixth, Jory. To the inside, seventh, Hills Peppy Scooter. Three lengths and eighth, it's Primrose B. Another two lengths, ninth. To Colleen's Candy Cam, the trailer 10th is Pompadour Hanover. They're at the first quarter mile marker, 28 and 1. And on the front, Western uh, Bridal has cleared. She has taken command here. She leads a length and a half, two. On the inside, racing in second, it's Tucson Princess. Then comes Tootin Scootin in third. Another three lengths in fourth, Lucy and Ethel. First up to the outside, Heatwave. And Hills Peppy Scooter is moving to the outside and is now uncovered, moving first up with Jory right at her heels. They swing into the clubhouse turn, Western Bridal, the two-year filly, continues to lead here. Irvine holds it together, leading here by two, two and a half. At the half, 57 and two. On the inside and second, it's Tucson Princess. At the rail, Tootin Scootin. And moving first up on the outside comes Hills Peppy Scooter as they race down the back stretch. With the cover, it's Jory, who's now fifth. Heatwave has been caught of the shuffle, locked in uh, back on the inside in sixth. To the outside comes Primrose B as they fire down the backside. Western Bridal continues the lead, but Hills Peppy Scooter matching stride with the rookie filly. And now three wide comes Primrose B. They're at the three quarters, 128 as they round the final turn. And on the inside with the lead, Western Bridal, she clings to that lead. Hills Peppy Scooter between horses and a 30 to one shot. Primrose B right there within striking distance. With with less than a 16th ago, and down the stretch they come. Primrose B on the outside, Hills Peppy Scooter between them. Western Bridal, Tucson Princess far to the inside as they drive the deep stretch. Tucson Princess using the inside passing lane to get up here. Tucson Princess in front. One sixty two eighty and trackside is the winner now, number two, Tucson Princess, a three old Ohio bred donor of Tucson Hanover from the best of all mayor Avis Princess, owned by Richard Stevens and Sal Nasser of Columbus. Roy Murphy trains Mike Wilder in the Sonki. Tucson Princess coming in from Ohio Fair Stakes, recording her fifth of the season, and that is a lifetime best one fifty eight three fifths.